All right, first and foremost, I want you to check out these two lines because this blue line here is the national average for gas. And the red line here, that is Greensboro's average. April of 2020, we were all paying a buck 59 for a gallon and a year and a half later, the Greensboro area average is $3 and 15 cents a gallon. The US is $3 and 32 cents a gallon. When hackers shut down Colonial Pipeline and there were gas shortages and high prices, everyone was told that the prices would eventually level out in a few weeks. Well, then summer travel season came along. OK, but what now? I was like, good Lord, what did happen? Did something else happen? Did I miss something? I don't like it. Seriously, why is gas well over the $3 mark? Well, Patrick DeHaan from Gas Buddy says there are three main reasons. And it's all really supply and demand brought on by COVID. You remember early in the pandemic when Americans parked their cars and, and gas prices plunged while oil companies started to shut down a lot of their uh, drilling and production. Letting go. All right, so that was number one. Guess what? OPEC, the organization of the petroleum exporting countries, they're not moving quickly either, like the U.S. is not moving quickly. Dahan says OPEC won't be producing to pre-pandemic levels until 2022. And even though they've had meetings about the production, even just two weeks ago, they're choosing not to increase production, and politics could be to blame. That's number two. So why would OPEC want to increase production for a president? Uh, who is basically undermining their economies by pushing Americans away from, from uh, crude oil. Why would OPEC do him any favors at this point? And number three, there is a global demand for oil. Dahan says Asia and Europe are dealing with high natural gas and coal prices, prices, so they're turning to oil as a backup fuel because it's actually cheaper for right now, which is driving up demand for then everyone. Expect to pay more through the end of the year, but don't pay more than you have to. You could be pulling into a station that's $2.99 in Greensboro. There are some stations at $3.29. Don't be the person that fills up at $3.29 only to see a station a block away at $2.99 a gallon. You got to do your homework. We'll tell you more about that in just a sec. But here are three ways to save on gas. AAA recommends mapping a route ahead of time. This way you can avoid making unnecessary stops. Also watch your speed. It turns out the average car is more fuel efficient when driving around 50 miles an hour. And finally, don't let your car sit with the engine running. AAA says the engine consumes a quarter to a half gallon of fuel per hour when it's idling. You can also find the cheapest gas in your area on our free app and also on WFMYNews2.com. Several gas stations in Greensboro and High Point are selling regular unleaded for $2.88 a gallon. You can find those locations on our app. Just look for lowest gas prices.